Good Friday morning, lads. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet. And this is your KWHS News. November college visits are in full swing and they continue next week. Mark your calendars with these dates and remember to pick up your pass from the Counseling Center for these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the lineup. On Tuesday, Fort Hayes State reps will finally make their way here for their visit. UCCS will follow them on Thursday, November 15th. After the Thanksgiving break, we have the reps from Adams State scheduled for a visit on the 29th. Seniors, if you are planning to attend PPCC after graduation, you have two days you need to put in your calendar. The first is December 4th. That's when PPCC admissions team will be here for application day. They will help you fill out your application and select classes. The second date you need to jot down is November 30th because that is the deadline to sign up for your PPCC appointment in the counseling office. If you missed any of these dates, check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Attention seniors, if you took creative writing last year with Mrs. Wickberg or Mrs. Everwine and you want to take an advanced course in creative writing, please see Mrs. Wickberg today to get your name on her list. And now we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Ladies, remember, WHS is piloting a ladies wrestling team, and Coach Walker needs you to join the team. This season will be the first of two pilot years for our girls-only wrestling team. We know many of you are interested in wrestling, so please make your way to Coach Walker's office in the Counseling Center to let him know that you want to be a wrestling pioneer. Practices start on November 12th. In forensics news, the team is headed to the Terror Invite at Palmer High School this coming Saturday for a varsity tournament. We'll have scores for you next week. Remember that winter season sports practices begin on Monday, November 12th. It is not a school day for students, but practices will still take place. Check in with your coach for times and locations. You must have your yellow card by Monday to practice or try out. Congratulations to Shea's team. They won the gents tourney yesterday and will be playing the girls varsity volleyball team today at lunch in the small gym. Can Shea's team beat the girls or will the girls put Shea's team in their place? Come find out for yourself and remember to bring in your canned goods to watch the games for free. Otherwise, it will cost you a dollar to catch the games. And finally, here's Damon's dose of health. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health, and today we'll be talking about healthy eating tips for you. First tip is pay attention to how food makes you feel. See if you're feeling sluggish or you're feeling good after you eat a certain type of food. Try to consume all of your calories within a 12 hour time frame. So whenever you have your first substance besides water, try to start the clock and make sure you're getting all your calories within those 12 hours from that point on. And our hydration tip, we encourage you guys to try to consume half of your body weight in fluid ounces. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you should be trying to drink at least 50 fluid ounces of water each day. Less than 10% of your daily calories should come from simple carbs or sugars. No, this doesn't mean that I hate sugar. I just recognize that it's one of the most abused substances in the United States. Try and choose more complex carbs like oatmeal, sweet potatoes, whole grains, different things along that line. Throughout a week, you should be trying to eat a wide variety of different colored vegetables and fruits. Try to avoid saturated fats. Instead, you should be looking to eat unsaturated fats. Healthy unsaturated fats include fish, seeds, avocados, olive oil, different cheeses. Lastly, try introducing some superfoods into your diet, like kale, berries, almond, dark chocolate, chia seeds, and spinach. Finally, I'd like to encourage you guys to evaluate your diets and start implementing healthier food choices into the foods that you're eating. Thanks guys. This is Damon's Dose of Health. Thanks Damon, those are some really good health tips. That's it for your Friday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon, now back to Cheyenne and Isaac for more news. 
Thanks for the update, Ethan. The drama department production of Dracula, The Fall Play, runs tonight and Saturday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $3 for students and $5 for adults. Break a leg tonight, Gladi actors. Remember that auditions for Little Women will be held next week on Tuesday and Wednesday after school in the auditorium. If you have any questions or need some details, see Miss Caps or Mr. Larson. Hey, Glads. Please return your completed federal aid forms to your first hour teacher or directly to the attendance office. If you did not receive one, stop by the attendance office to pick up a copy. And now, here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and Tuesday. Happy Friday! Hey, it's Friday. Wake up. Wake, Wake up. up! Long weekend, so we're looking forward to that. What's for lunch today? Today, burrito smothered in green, green chili. chili. Chili verde. Chili verde. Word of the day. Word of the day. Verde. And on Tuesday, since we're off on Monday, oh, we're no, happy. Hot wings! I love hot wings. Mm. See you then. Have a great one. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, if you have outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria, please pay those in person with Miss Betsy or go online to add money to your account. Students, remember that the NHS has tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. Stop by the library to sign up for an appointment and pick up your pass. NHS students can help you with writing papers, studying for tests, or just beefing up your grades before the semester ends. Glad you still have time to order your yearbook before the prices go up at the end of the month. You can order yearbooks in the business office or order online at yearbookforever.com. The cost is $55. The Harvard the harvest of Giving Food Drive continues through Friday, November 16th. Remember, your donations will be used by the 180 Club for their annual food drive, so please be generous. All these donations will go to families of students in our school. Bring your donations to Miss Melton in room 103 and put them in your class box so you can earn Charlie Cup points. Also, canned goods will get you into the Gents Volleyball Tournament today for free. Otherwise, you have to pay a dollar, but those proceeds will go to the 180 Club. That's it for our Friday edition, Glads. I'm Cheyenne Gallier, and remember, Monday is Teacher's Work Day, so Students have a three-day weekend. Teachers, you do have to report on Monday at 7.30. I'm Isaac Fleet, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend, and remember to thank our veterans for their service.